Hey guys, what's up? Got a Dan's coming on. I don't know if Courtney is or not. She hasn't talked to me yet today. But Dan's coming. So I wanted to tell this little story before I before he came on. Pretty cool. It's just a little uh, ET experience I had back in the day. And it goes like this. We think <laughs> I had a cool experience in St. Lucian. Well, it wasn't that great, but that's on my mind right now. But I want to tell the ET. Th oh, the Olympics. Yeah. So one year the Olympics was on. I, I don't know what year it was. Back in the nineties. Yeah, I think it was eighties or nineties. I think it was the nineties. I had the experience in Windsor. And uh the Olympics. Now there's hockey Olympics and all that. But this was a winter Olympics. And one day and I put my earplugs in, I laid down. It was in the either the afternoon or at night time. And I'm listening. Well, I ain't listening to nothing. I'm just I fall asleep. Oh, I I I was listening to the the sound of the the sound of crickets, like a field of crickets in my head, and it was getting louder and louder and louder. And I fell asleep to it, but it didn't get any closer. So, and, and that is the ETs. As soon as they get within a, pro, a proximity of the Earth, me from another dimension usually from another dimension. They come closer to the Earth, either in another dimension or in this dimension, because they can jump dimensions. And they come close, and they'll, they'll hang there and scan around, I guess. Then they'll get closer and closer and closer and come to me if they want to see me or not. This one, it came close, and it just stopped. So it was like medium loudness, which isn't bad, but that's like getting bad for the sound of my head. So I'm hearing the sound of crickets and I fall asleep. I'm out cold. I wake up. I wake up in my dream. But I'm not awake in my body. I wake up in the dream. So I was like astral traveling, but without the traveling. I don't remember no traveling. I just woke up there. And I, wa I woke up on the ship. And the ETs are standing. And I, none of them are looking at me. I don't even think they know I'm there. I had no recognition from them. They knew I was there. But I'm looking at and I'm looking at four of them. There's four of them. And they're watching this big screen, which is part of the ship skin of the ship or a wall or something anyway i'm looking at it and they have a they have a skier you know the the skis i forgot what it's called where they ski down a ski slope and then they jump and they go and then they fly for a long time to see whoever flies the farthest across the red line or something like that i don't know what the hell it is it's in the olympics i don't i don't watch the olympics on tv but I knew the Olympics was on because my mom likes it, my brother likes it, and other people like it. Anyway, I don't watch it. I just like hockey. Um, they were watching that. And the guy's up there. He's rocking back and forth on the side of the ship, like a TV on the side of the ship. Yeah, I guess. it was. It was weird because... There was no TV or computer screen. It was the wall of the ship, but it was like HD, like you're actually watching it from the ship. The wall was a TV. <laughs> I don't know, man. Don't ask me. Anyway, this person's up there, he's rocking back for and he goes, and he gets in that squat, and he's skating down, he's skating down. And then the ETs, they all had their arm out, and they had sticks, like match sticks. Real long match sticks without the match, just sticks sticking out of their hand. And the sticks were smooth 
and beige, same color as their skin. And they're going, <laughs> and they're all like, <laughs> they're all talking and everything. They weren't talking, but they were all excited. And this guy had this many sticks, and one of the ETs had this many sticks, and one of the ETs had this many sticks. And I'm looking at them, I'm going, what the hell do they got in their hand? Like sticks, you know? And the guy all of a sudden he jumps and he's flying through the air. And uh, one of them goes, <laughs> and he won. The, it was like the ET was all happy, he won. And the other ones were like, <gasps> and, and the other ones were like looking at their hand and they're looking at him and they're all going, and they're all happy, they're all happy. And he pulls out some sticks. And he hands it to the guy. They hand it to the guy who won the sticks. And then they just sat there and they waited for the next gear to come up. And the next gear came up. And he's back and forth. And they're all going, oh, 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 talking back and forth, right? And I'm looking at him. I'm like, what are they doing? And I heard, I heard in my, not in my head, but the impression was they were betting on who's the best skier. Who would, who was, they were betting. And the sticks were money. The sticks were like money. And am I recording this? God damn, I hope so. Recording, yeah. So they're uh, the recording. They're they were betting, and their money was sticks. But it was just play money, like Monopoly. It wasn't real money. They were pretending to be us. They, it's like they took the the gambling culture from us, the gambling game, and they were applying it to themselves, and they were excited about it. But the sticks only represented a certain amount of money each or something, and the one who collected the most sticks wins. And that's what they were doing. <laughs> I woke up in my body. <laughs> I woke up back in my body. And that was it. That was the whole dream. That was the experience. <laughs> so I just thought that I'd throw that out there because it was pretty cool. And that, that happened back in the, the early 90s, I think. See, I can't make a whole video for that, so... I add it into uh, another video. Uh, here. So let's see what Dan's doing. How do I get him back up? Oh, I gotta go to. Yeah. It was really cool because. It was really cool, especially the wall. It was like a window, but it wasn't a window. And they were zoomed in on, or they were watching it from our satellites. Like they tapped into the satellite and they were bringing it into their ship and the wall was a TV, or they were watching it. It was cool, man. But it's so short that I always forget to to make a video about it. So yeah, that was about it. Um, I have a whole bunch like that, a whole bunch. As I remember, I'm gonna make them, put them out. You don't believe where my soul is. I don't believe it. All because I swear. I can't talk a good English. I can't talk appropriate English. Find out if he's doing any good. Come on, man. So, invite, invite, invite. 
Who knows? He could be smoking a doobie before he. I'll invite you. Five minutes. All right. Oh, so might as well tell you what happened at St. Lucia. Got five minutes. So I go to bed this afternoon, and I, I'm all of a sudden I'm dreaming. It ain't a dream, by the way. It's different. I'm in a shower in school. And I'm showering with soap and everything, scrub myself down. Then, as I'm showering, and I get out and I'm drying off, these guys are waiting to get in the shower. And I'm like, oh, this ain't going nowhere good. And I'm thinking, oh, shit. So I quickly put on my drawers and my pants. And then I was okay. <laughs> And I don't know where I am or what I'm doing. All I know is I'm showering. And so I go off to the side. The guys come in. I guess it's a one-person shower, like a bathroom, like a small bathroom, one-person shower, and then, which I got to have just because I'm a, a whatever that thing is. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, homophobia. That's me. I'm a homophobia. So, um, the uh, I go off to the side and I get my get my pants on. And I put I sit down on the floor and I put my socks on. All these other guys come in and they're they're doing whatever they're doing, and I'm putting my socks on, and I'm slowly getting dressed. The place seemed to empty out. I don't know any of these people. I don't even know where I am. And the next thing I know, I wake up on the floor. My face is sleeping on the floor, like off to the side like that. And my stomach is on the floor, and it's tiles. Something like that. Something like tiles. And I could feel the floor breathing. He's going... Like that, and the floor is breathing, and I can see my soul. My soul is sleeping because I'm in a coma. But that's what I think I'm seeing, but it's actually my soul or another part of me seeing my soul. And anyway, I, I, I'm thinking, and the floor seems to be breathing as I'm sleeping and breathing, and all of a sudden I wake up and I go, whoa. That's cool. Then I get up and I put my boots on. I put my shirt on. I put my hat on. And I'm getting ready to leave. And I walk out into the hallway of the school. And then, boom, it's gone. The next thing, see, I don't even know if this is a dream. I don't even know if this is a dream because it's shifting from one thing to the bathroom with showers, shifting to another. And I'm in a classroom. I walk into a classroom, and there's all these kids, and they're talking and playing and everything. And they're, they're like younger, way younger than me. I, to me, I'm 55, 50, 53. But these kids are all like teenagers or preteens type thing. And there's one old man in the corner, and there's a teacher here. And... Okay. Holy shit. Hang on. I just got in the classroom. Remind me of that. All right. He's ready. So, add participant. It's pretty cool. Same illusion. I don't understand it yet. Hey, what's going on, cuz? Hey, how are you? Not bad. How are you today? 
just woke up. I don't know. <laughs> I'm telling this guy's a story. Hold on. Okay. Oh, St. Lucian. So yeah. I'm in this classroom and I'm standing with all these students in the classroom. They're all yipping and talking. There's an old guy in the left corner and he, he don't seem like, uh, he, 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 I guess he can. Anyway, I'm talking to the teacher and she's, and she says something to me, you got to do this. And she writes down all the stuff that I have to do. And something goes on about the desk. It has to be moved. My desk has to be moved to the door or to the back of the class or something like this. And the, the, the desk gets moved closer to the door for some reason. And it just moved. No one moved it. <laughs> which is kind of weird then i'm talking uh, i'm over her shoulder and i'm looking at what she's writing on this on this and i realize it's english class i gotta learn english and this is what i have to learn so i think i'm taking it with me i don't i think i don't have to stay here but i'm taking it with me what she wants me to do at home like homework and uh Next thing you know, I wake up in my bed, but I'm still there beside the teacher. I'm still looking at her over her shoulder. And the kids start on me. And I go, and I know I have to take English. And I go, what am I doing in this English class? And they go, my kids in St. Lucian, they go, you got to take English class. And I go, why? And they go, that's Mrs. Gertie. <laughs> I'm going, who? And she goes, uh, Julie goes, that's Mrs. Gertie, <laughs> your English teacher. And I'm like, Mrs. Gertie. And I'm like, holy fuck. I'm like, well, how about the priestess? How about you um, shoot the priestess so she can get out of my head? <laughs> and, and the priestess is in there talking. Oh, Christ. And that's, so I guess I'm going to English class in St. Louis. <laughs> <Don't fuck up>. <laughs> <laughs> or I'm in the hallway taking a class as usual. English is your second language now. <laughs> <laughs> I think they just want to teach me to stop saying fuck <laughs> or talk normal or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Jesus Christ. Uh some weather we're having, it, cuz? Yeah, I know. Rain in one fucking minute. Now there's snow blowing and Jesus crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's snowing good now. Eh? Can't believe this damn weather. It's like golf ball size. So I went out at 11 o'clock to go get coffee and it was raining. Mm -hmm. Now, as soon as the wife has to go to work, it's pouring, it's snowing. She's the world's worst driver. Hope she doesn't see this video. Yeah. <laughs> I, She's been in the rhubarb more than once for less than less than nothing. <laughs> yeah. mm. oh. So you were explaining your dream? Yeah. Yes, yeah. I uh, explained the UFO experience, ET experience I had a long time ago. I don't know why in the UFO group people keep asking such weird and dumb questions. Like I guess they're not dumb to new people. But they're kind of self-answering questions, you know? Yeah. It's kind of like the blatantly obvious. You know? They're new people. They're new people. That's why I put the Drake equation behind me. If there's any of them watching, that, <laughs> go look up the Drake equation. Yeah. It, that, that right there says there's life without even actually having to see it. You know? Yeah. That's like a 100 million planets with life on them. Did you watch that? Area. You see that uh, Pleiadian? Plajarin video I posted this morning? Uh not yet. No, I oh. didn't notice. I didn't. I seen you posted a couple of things, but I didn't see a video. I seen it was in other. the group. It was in the group. Oh, okay. I'll go in and watch it when we're done this one then. Yeah, yeah. And uh, he, it's Billy Meyer, and he's talking the, you know, the blue aliens. There's blue. Yeah, the, the blue avians. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're not yeah. aliens. They live in the earth. Well, they're avian. They they look like birds, I guess. Well, not these guys. These are different ones, but oh, I had okay, never heard of the earth I never and heard they're of blue. 
They're blue, yeah. And so, I guess there's two races, he says. They must live race. underground. Yeah, they live underground in a big, giant underground place. And he says there's two races down there. They're both blue. One race lives down there, and another race, it's the same, it's another race, but it's from the future. They're from the future, and they come back. Oh, yeah? Is those the ones the ant Indians talk about, the ant people? No, they're different. And, but they're the same race. Oh, really? They're just separated by time. Yeah, yeah. Oodles of time, obviously. And the ones that are underground are more advanced than us. And Meyer's saying that all the UFOs we've seen were from them in the past, like from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Oh, okay. okay. Mostly, mostly all the UFOs that we've seen. Well, there's just got to be a litany of uh, alien races all around us here on the moon and Mars and everything that are looking at us. So, like, Earth is like a, on their bucket list. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like one to see, right? Because it's unique. You never see all people warring for 2,000 years plus more. Never stop once. Take a fucking deep breath. Ever stop warring anywhere on this planet. Yeah. And, and then how we're destroying how beautiful this world is. Like, it's unique within itself. This, this creation will never, ever be mirrored anywhere else ever in time. I guarantee it. Yeah, I don't know. And it's sad to to know that it, what we're doing to it. I'll post the link in the description. Cool, brother. And I'm going to go watch that video. I, I, I just never had a chance yet. I've yeah. been kind of running crazy. and yeah. I was trying to get set up, put my chair and make my hot chocolate and get ready to do the video. And I woke up at 10 and fell back asleep at 12. <laughs> so there you go. I've been up since 20 after 5. So. Holy shit. I've watched the sun come up and my fair share of fucking TV, I'll tell you that. Oh, I got some energy coming up in the back of my head. I had to watch some cartoon TV just to, just to take my mind and put it back into normal space because with all this goddamn bullshit that's going on and I've been making bit shoot videos and trying to, you know, explain the situation and whatnot. I posted one on the group, my newest one. So yeah, I and I've been getting it. decent numbers. So, I mean, a lot of people are watching them and I really appreciate that. So. Yeah. Well, you know, we did, I did that video with Courtney and, uh, I posted it on bit shoot and it was up 65 in like an hour. Nice, bud. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's even believe it. how it goes. And yeah. it's pretty good. It's nice to be able to get your 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 message out, yeah. you know, and have yeah. people actually listen to it. Oh. You know, with all this shit we got going on here right now, and I'm not going to bore these people with it, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah, don't go political on this one. No. Let's no, stick I'm to spirits and you have I, a I do my political on my own. Yeah. I can do that on big shoot and I don't seem to get any trouble, although I'm not allowed to post on face or YouTube yet. I think I I'm I don't know what's going on there. They're not gonna let yeah, me post Don't anymore. try to figure it out. You'll get a hematoma. I didn't even bother, but I just don't go to YouTube anymore. They don't <laughs> want my business, they don't need me. Well, fucking I don't need to go there. I got other yeah, I heard. <laughs> they can just go. Because you know what I mean. They can just go. But I don't think my tow truck, off road tow truck guys are on bit shoot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no doubt. They're the only ones to get me through the day. So. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot I was going to go check some of that out, and I just never got a chance to yet. Right. It's all right. Crazy. Well, when I got this morning, I tried to meditate for an hour and. I had so many damn things on my mind. I just kept running right out of my own meditation. And I just said, yeah. it, 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 fuck it. At I least know. I got a good hour's rest. Been like there, it, done that. Yeah. I yeah. just run right out of my, but right in the middle of meditation, trying to achieve something, you know, get my relaxation and all that. The white light dealio. And I just keep thinking, well, I wonder what's going on over here. Is that always what's going on over here? And then I'm like, oh, man. I <laughs> pissed at myself because I couldn't <laughs> meditate. Yeah. Yep. I feel I like I'm taking something away from me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I hate that part of me. Yep. <laughs> it's frustrating, isn't it? It is. I it went is to bed. I went to bed last night. What's that, bud? I went to bed last night and I lay there for an hour and everybody was screaming in my head. Oh god. For a fucking hour. And you know what they do? Is that they invert. So when I my brain talks to them during the day. Mm -hmm. right if whatever when i go to bed at night 
the, the energy comes up. And when the energy hits your brain, Christ and family, they all start yelling at you. But it's the opposite of what you want to hear. Or whatever you okay, your problem is uh oh uh, school. Okay. Let's say the subject was school. You talked about school today. They'll yell back at you. You're a loser. You can't do nothing. You're a fucking loser. You you're so stupid. And that's what they did for an hour. Oh really? Yeah, they 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 insult you in verbally. And that's supposed to balance reason? you out. To balance you out to hear yeah. you're a loser? Like yeah. If I wanted to hear I was a loser, all I do is call my kids. <laughs> Dude, 12, <laughs> you know? 12 fucking years of that shit. Like, I don't know. I ain't a fucking loser. I'm a loser. Fuck That's God. how Christ oh, works. Man. That's how Christ works. You know? And you can't so, sleep. So you'll, so you'll better yourself? At, like, yeah, it's healing of yourself. What are you already trying to better yourself? Right, because you, you come off like you know something. Well, you right. don't know shit, so they're killing your ego. Exactly. But you get you get mad at yourself. You get mad at yourself. You get mad at them for calling right. you that, and they they get to see what you what you are inside while they're doing that because you're reeling back. Oh well, fuck you, then you bunch of guys. <laughs> and but and that that issue is gone <clears throat> when you bad. lay down. One day you're gonna lay down and go to bed, and they're gonna go, "Hey, you fucking loser! Can't what's two plus two, dummy?" <laughs> and and you're going. The fuck up! I'm going to sleep. Pretty much, <laughs> that that was your issue, and now it's over. Right. Rich don't wow. have that issue anymore. That's what they do with everything. Your sex, every fucking inhibition, everything. Well, I ain't got no secrets, so they can't be hounding me for those. No, it's just ego during the day. Yeah, I they, ego they is one, one of my biggest problems for my mm-hmm. meditations, and and it always is because. I, I haven't come enough forward yet since I changed my ways to not get past, to, to get past ego. You can't, you, you always think you're the best at something or there's always some sort of fucking voice that jumps in your throat to yep. tell somebody ego, you know, and yep. you don't want to say that. And when you do, you're thinking about it and you're like, Oh fuck. Why, why am I acting like the fucking Fonzie when I'm not? <laughs> exactly. <You know? laughs> they were, they were singing a song to me the other day. A short little jingle. Rich don't know nothing. He's a stupid idiot. Rich don't know nothing. He's... They were singing it for over and over, and I went, "Oh yeah, got your beat." I go, "I got your beat." They go, "What do you mean you got your beat?" I go, "G I double L I G S G S G S." And then all my kids went, "Oh my God, he's singing a cool song!" <laughs> and, they go, and I go, "Everybody, listen to me now." G I double L I G-A-N spells good again. And they went, oh, and they learned the song and everybody was singing it. <laughs> and I went to sleep. So I, I, I fucking infiltrated fucking JC, J- JC's little, That's you know, funny. ego thing on me. <laughs> oh, come on, Jesus. Come on. Come on, Jesus. You ain't worth, done the, you ain't worth Christ one. until you're fucking singing Gilligan songs. Now, come on, you son of a bitch. Gee, I drop a fucking eye. <laughs> come on, sing it, Jesus. Come on. <laughs> and he's like, all right, bitch, I get your point. I get your point. I'm like, yeah, That's fucking good. hilarious. That, that's what I did. Oh, that's my goodness. That's hilarious. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> All the kids and fucking <laughs> out about thirty kids singing. Oh, really getting the song. <laughs> <laughs> you fucked up their day. Yeah. Turn the energy around on them. That's right. <laughs> instead of instead of getting mad that they were calling me an asshole and I got a small piece, you got them all singing your song. <laughs> yeah, I'm a double L I G A N. That's hilarious. Yeah. Oh. But it happened every day for 12 years, so I just turned it around. <laughs> you just do it after a while, eh? Yeah. Turn it into comedy. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Life in the spirit world. So much fun. I'm sure glad I don't got a visit over there. <laughs> like, I, I mean, if I cruise through in my nightly maneuvers, that's fine. I don't know about it. You know, yeah. I'm always my dreams. I either I'm helping somebody or I'm do. I never have dreams that are 
where I ain't helping somebody do something. I always dream about climbing trees or if I ain't climbing the trees, something's going on and I'm in part of it, helping do all the shit or coming yeah. up with the ideas. And yeah. it's always those kind of dreams. For I me. don't even have those dreams anymore. All my dreams are less than dreams or shit going on in St. Lucian. I have nothing to contribute to my life. I don't dream about my life and work. Oh, yeah, it's all structured around what that is. Yeah. Yeah. Not See, anymore. If I fuck up or I, I, I have a bad day or whatever, or bad dreams. I always like if shit gets moved in the house, which is always happening, or I do something dumb because something was moved or whatever. Yeah. I just end up getting pissed off and start threatening what's around me. <laughs> yeah. and you motherfuckers, I'm going to die someday. And I'm going to find out who the fucks you are. Mm -hmm. And your afterlife is over. Cause yeah. I'm going to fucking come see you. Now, I already gave you fucking... a machine gun. So use it. <laughs> I hate to respond to them because it only creates attention when you respond to something, you know, yeah. right, bud? So yeah. I try not to respond, but I just get pissed off because shit's fucking like it's never where I put it. I know I'll fucking put it there. Yeah, I know. It's over fucking there. Or I'll turn my head looking back, it'll be right there. They're fucking I'm like, what the fuck? They're your friends. They're your friends on the other side. Just let you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, they're just bored as shit. The they, they know they... they they're just bored as shit, and they know they can fuck with you. And they're sitting around drinking beers, and they're fucking laughing and high fiving each other. <laughs> and you're running around freaking out. <laughs> oh, me. Sometimes I can take it, but sometimes when I'm in a hurry yeah. and I ain't got time to fuck around, you know, I sat my keys right there fucking ten minutes ago because I warmed the car up. I sat the keys here so like when I put my coat on, I could just grab and go out the door. But they're not fucking there no more. No, they're over on the couch on the fucking part that blends in with the blanket I got on the couch, so I can't fucking see them. And I'm thinking, did I fucking put them there? Am I cuckoo? Did I yeah. not just sit them here? I know. Yeah. But I just lose it. I can't take it. So when I'm in a hurry, I was like, you want to fuck around? I suppose that's when it's funnier, right? When you're in a hurry. <laughs> and you gotta, yeah. probably, it's probably ultimately funnier in that capacity. Yeah. Fuck. But other than my prayers and that. Ah, crazy. Just daydream daydreaming is praying i like daydreaming sometimes because sometimes you'll you'll go right to that place where you're that's you're, a daydream man that's praying like you fall into that and you re, you're like yep. you're totally out of reality you're yep, not I know. thinking that's, about the things around you isn't that like beautiful that. it's beautiful yeah. isn't it? something nice or you're thinking about something you wanted to do and the next thing you know you're you're kind of like it's all the visions all going on you're creating it as you go yeah that's you fucking doing and those are the good ones you're creating your reality that's how you i do don't it. get those very often that's for sure but they're uh, nice but, yeah i got them all Just like flying dreams i always ask for flying dreams i want to fly because i had a few back aways and they were just fucking fantastic i was running as fast i couldn't oh. Yep. <laughs> I mean, brother, like, fuck, you wouldn't believe it. I was it's having a party. Yep. And I woke up and I felt so good. And I yep. now every time I meditate, I ask if I can have some more. Can yeah, I, 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 have my, I have all my flying dreams are in St. Lucian now. Mm. I'll dream I'm in the park outside the university in St. Lucian. And I uh, jump and I'm flying. Mm. And, and I'm flying over oh. the sky like a something off star wars and i'm flying and i'm flying and i'm moving through the trees and i'm flying through the trees and everything and then i'll turn around and i'll go look at some girls tops and stuff like that <laughs> <laughs> you know just because i can <laughs> and they don't, don't see remember me. scenery or nothing but i sure can feel the flight <laughs> yeah. i wish i could remember scenery because then i could pick a few places i'd like to go fly around yeah, it's fun, man. I love that. They owe me at least that when I'm sleeping. And yeah, and uh, you can you can learn to do different maneuvers, like a Harrier jump. I like the run fly. You can fly like left to. You can move to the left to move to the right and take off, <laughs> and back and up and down. Yeah, to get that lucid would be awesome. Yeah, to like to be lucid to that part of it. That takes a lot of training, though. Yeah, uh, but, you know they got to give you the flying dreams have to be in multitude in order to. Right. Get the, the charge to do lucid dreaming. Yep. Like lucid dreaming, you do that like at the drop of the fucking hat. As soon as you yep. close your eyes, you're already in fucking control of whatever's going on. Yep. Well, maybe not in control of them calling you a loser and shit, but you fight back by your song and that. Yeah. But I mean, you're lucid dreaming the minute you're you're there. Even before you fall asleep, you can hear them. So. It's crazy. 
It, I'd I imagine. It. And you've been at it for what, 15 years, 20 years doing that. So well, yeah, wherever, and I've been at it for what, fucking five, if that. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm just a fucking piece of amusement for them over there. They just come and fuck with me whenever they want. Right. I could see my buddies over there smoking dope, though, sitting around smoking joints, drinking beer, and deciding to <laughs> fuck with me. I got enough yeah. of them over there. Yeah. Fuck, I got all kinds of dead friends, man. Well, it makes it feel better when you, if you think it that way. And it's not just some entity of ilk to proportion trying to, right. you know, or something that's in the house that's evil. Because a lot of bad shit went on in this house. A lot of arguing, a lot of fucking before, a lot of just, just miserable people. Not mm -hmm. to mention two deaths in the house, her father and mother, Who's... and the pet cats that died here. And I always see them <laughs> slinking across the floor. Yeah, I know, right? Black thing move around the fucking table. I look down, I think it's my cat. They're not in there. I got a fucking or, raccoon. I just assume it's the other cats who's my other cats that I loved and that they loved me, you know? Yeah. I got a raccoon that comes in the patio here, right in the apartment, looking for fucking food. And it comes outside my leg goes, <laughs> A a live one or <laughs> hey, dead? It's dead. Oh wow! A ghost, a ghost raccoon. Wow! And he comes up and he's like, he just puts his little paws on my leg, <laughs> and I'm like, I ain't got any. <laughs> and he what comes, do you feed he, a dead coon? I know, right? <laughs> but <laughs> I think some trick or treats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, it turns out that whoever lived here in the past years ago. Used to feed the raccoon. Yeah. He used to let it in and feed it. What? And then I got hit, got hit by a car, and the raccoon just kept coming back here to get the good shit. No doubt. Yeah. It's yeah. It's probably that's what its life is. So that's what its cycle in death yeah. is, until it moves its energy to something else, or it's moved to something else. You got it. And I see cat, the odd cat, run through here. Uh, you know, around here all the time you can tell when shit gets pissed off because it starts moving really fast like the the humanoid like the kind of black stuff that hides behind yeah. the door and stays in the shadows all the time you know the ones that do this yeah. and then they're gone again <laughs> you see them fucking do this right around the door and yeah. you're like what the fuck was that but in your mind you know it was them yeah and then uh yeah those ones when they're upset they just they're like zoom 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 You'll see them four or five times, and then and then you don't see it no more again for a long time. Either that or they're getting their exercise. I don't know. I just attribute it to pissed off because you feel the negativity in the air when it's happening. Yeah, yeah. It's like that's like what's collecting them. Fucking like things puts you in a bad mood. Those, what it does. There's there's one of the one of the reasons why them black things are moving around is they're collecting all the negative energy. Oh yeah. And what they do is they're not they're not. Entities. They're the ones you told me that are born dumb, and then they just learn yeah. to with around being around everything. They, yeah, they, and they collect. Up. What they do is they collect all the negative energy in your house so you can live, and oh, yeah. you you created it. But your oh, your I know soul I probably have created quite a bit. But yeah, your your soul will let that ball loose like a like a robot vacuum cleaner. Oh, okay, okay. And that's what it does. And they're it just, just running around, around yeah, and I'm catching the them in my my provision. Right. And then a good person will come down, an angel or Christ or whatever. He'll come down, take it, turn it into fucking nothing energy, mm. neutralize it, and that's what it does. That's how they clean houses. And to the people out there, if you guys are seeing it, and the reason you are only seeing it out of the corner of your eye is because your eye are made up of rods and cones and all that. And I guess the most sensitive ones are right in your peripheral vision. Yeah. And that's why you can you can entertain those those uh, you know yeah. those scenes of it. And if you're seeing it, that's why though. That's why I got told anyway. And I read it and I believed it and I still believe it. It's not. I think everybody can see to a certain extent. It's just what we get to available to us, right? Like some places there might be void, right, brother? There's no yeah. ghost activity. It's, you just got to be around it, right? Yeah. And once you are, then you get sensitive to it. Yeah. You can feel the change in my, I can feel the change in my uh, anger. I can feel the change in everything when, when it, they're zooming around. Yeah. Uh, I had one the other day come, one comes in the patio door. It's <laughs> about the, six feet tall and, it's black, <laughs> and it comes up beside me to the left, circles around, goes into the other room, comes back wow. around. 
and then it leaves. They and I, what I think, it. what I think is doing is someone set that out, and it goes from apartment to apartment to apartment, just collecting the negative energy. Yeah, they like doorways for some reason. Like yeah, the they're doors. Doorway, the shadow that goes right in that corner there, it's almost black. Yeah. But if I'm looking out of the corner of my eye watching TV, I can see that black changing. Yeah. And there's no plants blowing in the house or nothing. If there's no shadow moving, the cats aren't <laughs> six feet tall. So, I mean, I think I just assume they're there, you know, yep. watching me. Well, it's not, it's not an entity, but if these things will grow and grow and grow and grow till you get a fucking monster. And if Christ don't come down and neutralize it or a priest or something, he don't come down and get rid of it, which they're supposed to do. Right. Then it starts. Oh, I should, I should try thing. praying over it. I never did that before. Yeah, yeah. It just like I can tell when Colleen's mom's here because the dish rack will move mm-hmm. and you'll hear dishes, clink, ching, ching, but only once, maybe a little bit, but enough noise out of that fucking. And she was always cleaning. She was always had her fucking apron on and she yeah. was like the house was not a speck of dust anywhere, right? Really? So, and I hear the dishes clink and move when after, after I've done dishes, I'm laying on the couch two hours later and I hear clink, clink. I just <laughs> she's dishes. fixing up the dishes you missed. Yeah, yeah. Whatever, you know. She's like, I don't know why I married that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's like, I don't know why my daughter would marry that fucking barbarian. <laughs> Her daughter don't ever do dishes. She works. I take care of all the housework. <laughs> Fuck. So it's always oh me. I imagine she gets mad at me for not cleaning for a couple of days. That's, that's House a... is a fucking pigsty. <laughs> yep. It's like somebody threw a bomb in Walmart. <laughs> through a bomb in Walmart. <laughs> yeah, it looks like somebody threw a bomb in Walmart. Get all over the place. I let a bunch of Sasquatches go. Oh, in Walmart, monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, that's, that's crazy. Funny. That's funny. But good stuff. Yeah. So, anything exciting else going on? <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's just been kind of boring. I've been making, uh, doing the shoot videos over the government and whatnot. And wow. Doing that and cleaning. <sighs> trying to stay busy. I I play bass. After I'm done this, I'm going to play my bass. Right on. Well, whenever you want to kick video, bud, just, just let me know. I'm good. Oh, I'm good. I got all afternoon, man. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's only four o'clock. <laughs> No doubt. Right no, I don't know. Pick something. Ask me questions. I don't know. Whatever. Bring something up. Oh, well, let's talk about those aliens you were, you were talking about. Those blue mm-hmm. aliens that you yeah, were saying. Well, there ain't much like to it. Got, if you, if there's, oh, there's not much to it? Or no, oh, he, he says he knows where they live under the earth and what country and area and GPS thing. But Who said that? Jesus. Billy Meyer. Oh, Billy Meyer. Yeah, and uh, I, I never read the first time I ever heard of them, except well, I heard of blue crazy. avians before. Have you? No, the bird ones that look like birds. No, you never heard about those. I thought no. they were supposed to be from the Pleiades somewhere. I don't know. They they're tall and they're blue. They got feathers. They look like birds. Yeah, but they're tall. Yeah, I guess they're really beautiful. I guess they're gentle, and people talk to them. So, like, I've seen a couple of videos where the lady said she talked to them. So. Really? Yeah. Yeah, but not mouth by mouth, but by do. yeah, yeah. And she says they're peaceful and they're beautiful and they got feathers and they want the best for the earth and they try to help people the best they can and stuff like that. You know, friendly, friendly aliens. I don't, you know, we don't not like the 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 low race reptilians that we got to fucking deal with on Earth. You know? <laughs> yeah, like we got to be surrounded by a, ra- a race of aliens that just love to feed off. Our, our negative energy. They love to torture people. Yeah, back in the day, I would hook up to them spiritually and try to find them, dig them out, search them out spiritually, but I can't do that anymore. Mm. Well, that's probably, it. it's probably uh, intense, right? Oh, yeah. And I mean, like, how do you find that area in a meditation to to, to get them i i, well, I, I don't just put my heart out to nothing i try not to because yeah. i'm scared shitless something's gonna happen yeah well, that's why i will mind. happen to me it's like if i go looking for the reptilians i can i can just say to myself do the reptilians exist and then i'll be shown one or something will happen in a quick little vision 
Well, the and, sad thing might be is they might see you. <laughs> you know, that's yeah. the thing, right? But, that's but I'll be shown it sort of like in a dream or, or something. And then from that dream, I'll I'll know what they feel like. So I just align my seeds to that feeling. And then I'll travel to him. Wow. And then boom, here I am. Speaking of seeds, did you get yours back? One punch and I'm fucking dead. So fuck it. Oh yeah. Wow. <laughs> I ain't doing it anymore. Not with unknowns, man. Not with oh, that's unknowns. true, brother. Because they might see you. They might yeah, turn yeah. around and see you looking at them. Yeah. And be oh, able yeah. to do something and about it. And they know them rules. They know that law. They know how the soul works because they're part of that. And you're fucked after that. Well, they're so fucking like it. a million years more advanced than us too. And they fucking yeah. probably got technology that fucking we wouldn't understand. It'd be like it'd be like teaching your cat how to fucking drive the car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just ain't gonna fucking happen. Yep. And uh even if they are base fucking ankle biters. Who cares? They're still Sasquatch strong, man. I ain't fucking with them. Oh yeah, you know. Oh, yeah, they I got, are. I got. I got they are. I got. I got the one Sasquatch in the spirit world, Tia, and he can. He's my bud. Right on. Other than that, I met another one just a while ago. He come running out of nowhere to help, to help me do something. You no, know, to find out what's going on. Tia got him to do something. He come running through. He ran up to me, and uh, I don't know what the fuck he was doing. I can't remember. But do they stink when they're over there? No. Or just when they're on this side? They're just as fucking scary though. Oh fuck! I bet. And he come running up to me, past me, and he wanted to know what the fuck is going on with me and the priestess. Because Tia couldn't find out or something like that. And then, Priest, is she still fucking with you? Oh, yeah, she's still in my head. They got Why my soul in a coma. Gone? Let's talk about that. Yeah, let's talk about that. I don't know. Anyway, what they did, they put my soul in a coma. When they did it, right? It, my soul went. <sighs> and fell Excuse asleep. me for a second. My fucking lighter seems to have disappeared. I just fucking had it here. I just heard one of my spoons clink. <laughs> Over there on the floor. Yeah. Yeah. I just so heard. Just, put it I, in the ash, it's gone. I just heard one of my spoons clink over there. <laughs> We're both being fucked with at the exact same time. We shouldn't have talked about it. <laughs> yeah. We shouldn't have talked about it. And I never. Now just give an open gate. Here you go. Fuck with me. <laughs> and I never hear my spoons clink. Not, no, not not usually. No, never for fucking Maybe, weeks. Maybe uh, weeks. Colleen's mother came over to fix it. Or I mean, you looked up somehow and it happened. Yeah, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying it was one of them, but fuck it. Well, who knows? When your dishes clink, it's got to be something. Yeah. They just don't move on their fucking own. My dishes don't. <laughs> they do on Disney. <laughs> yeah. They don't fucking in real life. Yeah, I know. Spoon doesn't run down the counter and fucking jump into the the the, the rack. <laughs> My lighters and my pens and my my little work things I got here laying around, mm-hmm. they'll move. They'll move all the time. I'll be sitting there watching TV and my lighter will go <laughs> across the fucking table. I never see it. I'm like, oh, uh, I've never caught it happening. The oh, day really? I do, I think I'll fucking run out the door. <laughs> it happens, man. They do it right oh. in my fucking face. You know? I'm like, Okay, did I do that or did they do that? Like, because my soul's out there, you know, moving things yeah. around and shit. Reorganizing your apartment while you're having a nap. Yep. Mm. It's crazy, man. Trying to find the feng shui. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the coma. So what they did was I'm with Christ and the priests, and they went, they sh- did something to me. I don't know what it was. I didn't see it. My soul went, mm. And now he's his head is like in my heart, and he oh, says, no <laughs> "I'm cold." They took my seeds, and here I am. So it's like I'm talking. It's just it's different. You can actually see the division between it, and right. I'm starting to hate it. It's like I end up and I'm sitting here at the computer, and I'm like, "What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do?" And like I want to go, I have to go outside with mom and buy a new car go look at used cars and stuff. And I'm like, 
I'm, I'm fucking afraid to do that. I'm afraid to go out and do it. And I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> but when when my That's soul's with anxiety, me, eh? when my soul's with me, I was never afraid to do shit like that. Right. But, you know, just go shopping. I, I'm afraid to fucking go to Walmart. I'm afraid to do all these fucking things because my soul is sleeping. Oh, my goodness. So you see? You see the difference? Yeah. Just a couple of little things I've noticed in a week and a half. Wow. But, and then my fucking seeds are gone, so my power is gone. That might have something Not to really, do. but more or less, yeah. Like, you never were a very sociable person anyway, brother. Oh, no. You had your friends and your friends and Daryl and them, and that's all you yeah. fucking hung out with. You weren't likely to talk to strangers too much unless they talked to you first, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, I was enough to look, make fucking friends with idiots, so... Like you always had your finite amount of friends, though. You, you know, and all your other guys, like those yeah. dudes you and Daryl hung out with, those other guys, but and the girls, like Don and them. But yeah, I mean, you never added fucking no strangers in your group. It was always the same people. No, because uh, I usually found out when I had friends, new friends, all their insidious shit come out, and I couldn't fucking deal with it. Just get away from it, eh? Yeah. I'm so not saying all of them, but that's what we do. If I get near somebody and they fucking don't feel right to me, I get gone. Mm-hmm. Or if, uh, fuck, I don't care where we're at, what we're doing. I'll tell the old lady right fucking there. Let's go. We're leaving. She don't even question me anymore. She just says, "Okay," and she goes. She knows. Really? Eh? She knows. That's cool, man. That's nice. Yeah, it's happened so many fucking times. The couple, first couple times I had to fight and argue with her about it, I said, "I don't fucking know what's going on here, and I don't. I got my fucking spidey senses tingling through the fucking roof, and I don't fucking feel right, and we're not fucking staying." You're in a police Let's station go. or Walmart. <laughs> if you want to stay, that's fine. But if you don't, yeah. I'm leaving now. Yep, yeah, I had that fucking feeling a thousand times in my life. Well, it's only happened to me about three times, but. When I feel that bad <laughs> feeling, I know something bad's going to happen. I'm fucking out of there. And, and and sometimes, you know, maybe it's just me being there that makes something bad happen. Yeah, so, you got it. That's exactly. Because I never end up hearing about something bad happening or anything, but it could have been me being there is why that was going to be bad. And yep. something's letting me know. Yep. And I obey it. Yep. Good for you, man. That's I good. used to ignore it in my old life, and that's when I'd have bad things happen. To me. Yeah. <laughs> yep. You don't know what's gonna cause an effect. I don't know what's going, but we're fucking out of here. And she don't, she don't, she's so good, she don't even question me anymore. She's okay, let's go. <laughs> yep. Which is awesome of her. Of course, she could always stay though, too. You know, bullseye. Always, That's a bullseye. To stay. Fucking right on. It doesn't happen that often. And where we did it, we were all around strangers and shit anyway. And it wasn't people of our people, it was people we didn't know, and you know. <laughs> Once was at in Windsor at the at the at the fair downtown when they were having the bands down there. We went down to see a band and right about their third song and they were getting done. They were doing a little thing, changing up, and I had this fucking horrible feeling. Mm. And we were outside <laughs> for Christ's sakes. I said to her, "Let's go. Something's going to happen. We got to get the fuck out of here." Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of fun. But. It's nice to have warnings. It's nice to it's nice to know you can count on some feelings to to keep you out of trouble, you know. But you can't pay a dishonest wage into life either by being a cocksucker and hurting people <laughs> and fucking doing rotten things well, and yeah, fucking yeah. being fucking all kinds of miserable to people. No, you you won't get that if you have that kind of a life. You're not you're not entitled to it. I don't think it only comes with the 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 flip the script of your attitude towards life and the living and the dead and a new, a new, well, to care. Whereas before you just didn't give a fuck. Right. You really did kind of care, but you didn't know it anyway, because you're such a miserable fucker. It never came to the surface. Right. You wouldn't allow yourself to feel a feeling because if you did that, you know, you weren't cool or whatever. Always kept that shit inside yourself. Yeah. But you recognize it and you fucking knew it. When you did bad shit to people who stole something from somebody or you fucked, beat the living shit out of somebody that really didn't fucking deserve it and yeah all those evil things they they don't they make you they make you shame they give you shame yeah once you once you forgive yourself and get rid of that shame and get rid of the hate and the shame and those are the two most important things and and start to love yourself for who you are and what you yeah i tell you what it's better that you do it than christ does it to you yeah it's a lot fucking nicer when you do it to yourself 
Well, I wouldn't want to have a dance party with Christ in my fucking name only. I would lose, lose, lose till the morning came star. Oh, man. And the lesson dreams, they're not fucking fun at all. Oh, me, I'm an idiot. I like to fucking learn my lessons here on earth right out in the open so I can feel the pain and misery in my heart when I fuck up. <laughs> you know, that's how stupid I am. Yeah, I know. I like to do it right out in the fucking open where the whole world can see me. Yep. But I don't do that shit anymore, thank God. Sometimes by accident I do. I have I have a propensity propensity to tell the truth all the time to people, and uh, they don't like to fucking hear it. So yeah. sometimes I caused a few rifts that way. Yeah, I got a thing here, Dan. I got a thing I was thinking about this morning. I must talk about it. Okay, right. you know how that is the spider Jesuses and spider Jesus Christ and spider Christ. Well, only and, from you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and that is huge in my life. My seeds give me dreams where I'm talking to Jesus and it's a spider. When that happens, I know I'm being used or raped by the fucker in some way. Is oh, the spider is the indication? Yeah. Because he's showing you, you as a human or as a Jesus looking, right? He comes to me as a Christ. Everybody knows him as a Christ, but my seeds show me the overview of everything. And he's so a spider. It's a spider. He's a spider. And now that represents his, he's doing bad things. That's not in Christ consciousness right so he's doing bad things to you acting outside of christ consciousness right yeah Yeah. on his own behalf or he's a he's a bad guy they call it a breach i i guess there was a guy who used to when i first got there he infiltrated christ's kingdom and got knowledge and he got away and they've been after this guy for a long time well, you stole secrets? Yeah, yeah. And I don't know the details, but I know Christ wanted his ass. He was on the fucking hit list. Christ was looking for him. Oh, I found the fucker. You looked you looked up to him? No, I just dreamt about him. I said, this guy's oh. driving me nuts. He's pissing me off, Jesus. Come here. Jesus came down, grabbed the fucker in illusion, and said, who are you? Holy fuck. <laughs> or wherever yeah. it was. And... They grabbed him. They got him. Wow. And I don't know. But I, you see, how am I supposed to know where this guy is? It's my seeds that take me there. It took you there, yeah. Yeah, they put me in a position with this guy. Next thing you know, he abuses me, and boom, he's fucking in jail for 200 fucking years. For wow. Crimes he committed against Christ. So how the fuck does that happen? And that's been happening wow. since I got to St. Lucian and started hooking up with Christ non-fucking-stop. But the thing is, listen to this. You know the police? You know police? Okay, the police force. Now, Mm -hmm. I I was watching the truckers this morning in Ottawa. Mm -hmm. Now, there's there's the police that go out there and they just manage shit, right? Yeah. But when they start abusing, when they start abusing the protesters, which, now we're talking natural law. Right. I have a right to fucking be here. Fuck you to yeah. all hell. Okay? That's what the protester says. I'm a fucking human being. I'm here protesting your abuse. The police come as peaceful fucking police, but then the order is given. Get them. And they start beating the fucking shit out of you. Instantly, as soon as you fuck, as a cop hits a protester for no fucking reason at all, other than he's protesting standing there like a truck driver, right. like, you right. know, yeah, he's instantly a spider. Wow. He's an infiltrator. He's, he's worse than a fucking spider. He's a fucking traitor coward. Fucking. Fuck, that's cool that you see him like that then. So that indicates they're fucking with you and you automatically know. And they're fucking them. spiders and they're going against democracy and they're going against Christ. They're being run by the fucking demon, fucking retard, nutless fucking wonder at the fucking hill. Okay, no names, but with all that said, I instantly went back to a a dream I had. It wasn't a dream, but where Christ showed me what was under level one, the earth level. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm on three and people live on the earth level, but right right under, under, in the basement, let's call it the basement. Okay. Is where all the spiders go. 
on their way down. Now, this is the dream. This is the dream I had. I was looking down. I was standing in St. Lucian, but I'm looking down in the basement of St. Lucian <clears throat> on level one. And, well, it wasn't St. Lucian. It was another city on level one, like Chatham or something, where we are living, our right. physical, where our physical is, but you can live here in your soul, where you see ghosts walk around right. and, move, and move your ship. But in the basement of that level, level one, I'm looking at thousands of spiders. Wow. Hundreds of thousands, millions of spiders from horizon to horizon. Wow. And I'm looking at them all. And all of a sudden, I see the web. I see a web. And it's covering the whole level one going up. Right. So all the spiders are crawling around underneath. Right. But they can't get up where we are. Because they're all down here. And the web went right to the central point like a fucking Ottawa. Oh, no doubt. And, well, it was like the capital of the spider web, of the spiders. Yeah, yeah where they are. And I went there, and I'm like, right in the middle of it was a huge fucking black widow. Oh, man. And That's... you know what I did? I'm like, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Grace comes running, and he goes, well, man, what's going on? What's going on? Because I'm Usually, when I scream for Christ, I'm usually getting beat up. And I go, look. And he, he came inside me and he looked at what I'm looking at. And he goes, holy, yeah. Come on, Rich. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you all about it. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. We're going back home. Let's go back home. <laughs> you know? And I go, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? And he goes, he goes, <laughs> that's, that's where all the spaders go. And he goes, that's where all the spiders go. Wow. And yeah, I go, what's a black widow? And he goes, that's the queen. <laughs> wow. I won't, but I hope I never see that place. Mm. Fuck, that sounds awful. Oh my God. And and the, the spiders represented people that fucking sold their soul. Wow. And abused you. The queen, the queen, like the queen of England. Black mm -hmm. Widow Spider. Yeah. She controls the fucking spiders down there. The wow. fucking police that turns against the citizens for the fucking nutless wonder in fucking Ottawa. It, stuff like that. So wow. all the spiders that do harm. It represents evil. Represents the sickness. Yeah. Wow. Fucking down there. And it's all thick and black spider and webby. Yep. and You sell yeah, your I soul. See how that. I can, you I can, sell your I fucking soul to the devil. It, but... You sell your soul to the devil. Bingo. And you wow. know what? Good luck with that, you motherfuckers that are watching this that are sp who are spiders. Absolutely. But every once in a while, Absolutely. spiders get out. Spiders get out and they infiltrate us. And I've been fucking beating them back. So there's I'm different. I, I'm so glad I don't have to experience that. That's why I won't engage nothing in a, in a meditation. Unless it's unless it's unless it's absolutely pure, mm -hmm. and and I always ask to you know for that I always ask to see Jesus. I always ask to you know God for something. Uh, you know I'm always asking or telling my problems or something in my meditation to yeah. to, to to get a response from that end. Or to, like remember how you used to ask to get juiced? Yeah, that's why I ask for a lot. I ask for can I have some energy? Can I? You know, can I have, can I be touched by the hand of God? Can, can, can you wash over me? Can you do something, yep. you know, to help me out? Yeah. You know, you. yeah. And I haven't ever had it, but. Just keep I doing it. You'll I, get it. I mean, just, I just, maybe I just don't deserve it yet. Oh, well, you're, you're, right, you're already already there. there. Well, I, I just, I think there's things that maybe I still need to do that. Oh, yeah. they want oh. done that I can't, that I haven't put my mind to, or I haven't thought of yet. Because yeah. it's not, I don't really know what it is, but I'm sure if there's something that I need to atone for, then I, I think about it and I haven't already atoned for it. I'm going to do that. Yeah, I know. But maybe there's something there. Maybe I, I just ain't, maybe I ain't worthy yet. That's all. But the healing light's always there. The white light's always there. So that I'm not being denied anything, really. I'm getting the full benefit of my meditation. It's just, I'm not getting the extras. Right. They'll come when it's time. But, 
yeah like i don't want to see nothing i don't want to see none of my friends i don't want to see nothing i just i just want like i i see faces as it is i see a face looking at me it's smiling it's contorting and doing all this shit and i i think around it <laughs> i think yeah, you know. even though like you said it could be me looking back at me mm-hmm. and i just don't realize it and i'm happy to see me because it's my higher self yeah Another part, another part of you. Yeah, happy my higher self was happy to say, hey, good, you're meditating right yeah. on, man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. But, yeah, you never know. Yeah. But seeing those spider things, that would freak me the freak out, boy. I thought, oh, damn. Oh, you know how I am with spiders. I don't, I don't kill them. Oh, me neither. I'll, I'll, I'll help them out spiders. of the house. I totally respect the life forms of the earth. You have a good day. You're fucking nasty, mm-hmm. ugly bastard <laughs> go do your thing just don't Hello? crawl on my fucking face i did it not long ago the old lady said there's fucking 40 ball outside the thing's gonna freeze i didn't kill it i didn't but it's either that or he's having a frozen water burial in the fucking toilet <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah he's going down the water toilet he's that so fucking he can he can go out follow snow run into the building find yeah, he'll find a warm work. place to hide yeah yeah well I, I, I make sure he does <laughs> but no you ain't fucking having a happy fucking powwow in my goddamn apartment with your friends forget it anyway <laughs> that was fucking creepy shit and I fucking realized I'm thinking about spiders. Like I was watching the cops and what they're gonna do. They're gonna come in with the RCMP and the military's coming and they're gonna tow all the trucks out. And well, they all called the tow trucks already, and the tow trucks told them they all had COVID, so they couldn't come and tow the trucks away. <laughs> I know, I, I know. <laughs> That's hilarious. So talk about getting what you're giving what you get, right, bud? Yeah. That's awesome. I just I just can't believe. Can you imagine being a cop and you're told to fucking beat up a bunch of kids and truckers? <laughs> no doubt. Can you fucking God knows believe? What, goes on. what kind of fucking person do you got to be to fucking? You just a goddamn cabbage head. You go against your own people and shake them down and fuck be mean. And, can you believe hmm. that for a fucking piece of shit at the top, mm-hmm. who's controlled by himself, who's running and hiding, who ran and yeah. hid like a fucking <laughs> bitch? <laughs> I couldn't Can believe you, it. What kind what of guy? Fucking, what kind of people are there on this? Fucking comes out the back door of his fucking wherever he's hiding at, and gives a big speech. I hate that the same price. <laughs> Telling us how we're fucking well? traitors. He, he, for fucking he, he, he called the truck drivers terrorists. I think he did. No, he did. Racist, terrorist, misogynist. Fuck, he said a whole bunch of fucking things. That guy, his mouth hasn't stopped running since. He knows he's not going to come back. He knows it. He knows it. He's, he's done. He's fucking done. There's already a petition going around to get rid of him. Probably yeah. have four million names by three o'clock. Man. I was watching the rebel and they're talking about the other conservative <laughs> guy, the, the main conservative guy. And he's yeah. a backslider yeah. fucking loser just as much as the one that's in power now. Well, anybody would be better than Justin. Because yeah. he's tied in as a one percenter because of his money situation. Other people aren't like that. They're just in because they're low level shit eaters. That's about it, probably. Yeah, yeah. But at least he'll have to do what the fucking people say. We're 36 million people. You want us all in fucking Ottawa? Keep it up. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do when there's 36 million people marching down fucking Ottawa? You can tow cars all day, all night for six years, and you still won't get rid of them all. Yeah. They just yeah. don't understand that it's over for them. They need to move on. The evil needs to, to, to get its tentacles out of the earth, like you say, how they got them fucking all in every direction. Yeah. And then all the people take your devil worshipers with you. Simple. It's, it's, it's interesting, you know. Ever since Hillary came, and oh, I don't want to go political. Ever since yeah, they okay. came, they tried to get into power, and you know, it's been bad since then. Yeah, and it's being They're paying exposed. us back. People are fucking waking up. You can see people waking up that wouldn't normally wake up. No, and no, that's because but- they're hardcore. They knew they weren't going to get to do what their ultimate plan was, so they started right away just to, just for some yeah. reason to do. I don't I don't understand why. Like if you think about it, it's really it's really scary. But if you got Christ, you got everything. Yeah, 
you know, even if you do die, you're still going to, you're still going to be with Christ. You're still going to go to heaven yeah. or wherever you go, you know, wherever your body wants to go, your soul takes you. I don't really know what happens, but I don't believe in the conventional heaven and hell like before, like I did before. Yeah. I believe something different now. And I ultimately know it's true because it, it, it just, it just makes sense in your head and it makes sense in your heart. And if your head and your heart can come together and, and uh, agree what something is, it, it must be that way. It's not political. It's good against evil. That's what it is on this planet now, brother. We're fighting uh, evil devil worshipers and sun worshipers. And fuck, fuck it. They can, they can erect goddamn statues of the Baphomet all over the fucking place. The baby Baphomet in a fucking manger, just like Christ just to mock us yeah. and it's legal something's wrong mm -hmm. devil worship requires murder and sacrifice and fucking just dog diggery and those three things ain't allowed in the natural law uh, so you know what fuck them they're all with they're all against natural law yeah i know yeah and that's they're all, all the spiders <laughs> they're all spiders they're yeah. below the spiders well put them to death here on earth for their evil deeds and they can go spider on down with the spiders. Yeah, turncoat to humanity, your turncoat from natural law, your turncoat from Christ. You said it, bro. A fucking spider. You said Have a good it, time with that. And it's be fitting. Holy shit. What? I can't get around that. But where my fucking mind goes, everything I've seen in my life. It's like, I can't even talk to anybody. You're a spider. <laughs> I'm going to yeah, beat you know, you shit out of You're a fucking anything. spider. Let me tell you a story. <laughs> you know, you know, Let me tell you some heartfelt story from my life. I can't fucking I'll be back it. in one sec, but I'm going to grab a pillow from my ass. Yep. This no. tear is a hard tear. How, oh. how does that... How do they fucking... Oh. Okay. Police, police, man. And doctors. A doctor kills people. He's a fucking spider. Right? Well, there's a lot of doctors killing people right now. Killing babies. Yeah. Abortions. Now they're trying to and now they're trying to have a shot for, for kids under five. Oh. Shouldn't have said that, but that's evil. That's spiderness. Yeah. They love nothing more than to have the negative energy from a baby screaming and crying. Imagine you got a fucking bow to that fucking queen fucking thing down there. I would never bow for nothing, nothing, nothing like no, that. I know. I'm just saying, man, you got to fucking get through her to get out. Well, they're tricked. They're a lot of oh, people yeah. into the that's cult. That's they why don't they're, they're doing. Come on and get in our group and do all this stupid shit. We'll make you rich. You don't yeah. even know you're worshiping the devil, but you are. Because you're yeah. doing all what the devil likes. Everything that goes against humanity. Like eating shit. <laughs> like that's caca. <laughs> the caca. <laughs> you gotta talk to him like a baby. Do, the devil and the spider lady. I don't want fucking nothing to do with it. And the fucking control freaks. Cops. Um, yeah. They are. You, ever, you, ever, you ever have that experience where you're talking to a cop? He's like, hey, man, Trump, hey, please, blah, blah, blah. Well, you're not supposed to do this. You're not supposed to do that. Blah, 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 blah. And all of a sudden... He goes, so you got any weapons or anything? He's a fucking robot and he's talking to you. Shut up. Don't do this. Do this. Do this. Do this. And you're like, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And many of them were not good. Holy fuck. Can you? It's like they're they're talking to you like a normal person and their heart is out. And you're, you, you can feel it. And all of a sudden it goes, whoop, and they're ready to slam you on the fucking car. And they're just yeah, telling they, you to shut up. Like, if you didn't have that gun, I'd kick your fucking teeth out of your fucking head. <laughs> that, that's what I feel. That's what's coming out of my heart. Where in the fuck do you, in what fucking authority world, other than this fucking satanic fucking so gives leech, you the power to do prison, what, you do. what gives you the right to tell me to shut the fuck up to, to my goddamn face? Exactly. Shut the fuck up. Dan, shut the fuck up. <laughs> don't, don't fucking laugh, Dan. Shut the fuck up. That, that's what they do to you. Oh, I know. And then, I, and, and I've then, had many dealings with the cops. I know. I'm just saying, I can't fucking believe I can't get it through my fucking head. What? Who the fuck do you? What? You have a fake fucking badge, a fake fucking mask, a 
fucking fake fucking suit and your Ronald persona that's bullshit, you're gonna die. Spider. A couple of times I had 30 <laughs> fucking dots on my chest. <laughs> you know? A couple, yeah. You know? like, yep. fuck. But I was scared shitless for a minute or two, but then nobody shot me, so. Yeah. That's the way I did it. I just fucking just complied. Did exactly what they said. Then just comply with the spider. And you can feel the dots. Oh yeah. On well, your skin. I, don't know. I couldn't feel them. I could see them. I couldn't feel them. Well, they're pointing their guns at me at my fucking chest, and I could feel it. Oh, I oh well, I couldn't Moving. feel it. I just, I just knew they were there because they were like fingers feel. touching me all over. Right oh, my wow, fucking, okay. All because I kicked into the door to my own fucking house because the fucking sister locked me out. <laughs> and went to the fucking shopping mall or getting drunk all night and I ain't fucking sleeping on the fucking porch and the fucking old lady across the street oh my god violence <laughs> personified <laughs> ah! oh, I fucking live here I've seen you a fucking hundred times you fucking old bag what are you fucking calling the cops on me for <laughs> Jesus Christ what the yeah. fuck? Do I need to give my fucking name to the neighbors to get in my own fucking house? You fucking yeah. losers. <sighs> anyway, they let me go after my fucking. Well, they had, I guess, fucking live there. They had to let yeah, me go. And, and they said, they get you, lay down on the ground. That's why I lay down on the ground, and a fucking cop comes flying out of nowhere, jumps on my fucking back, right here in my neck with his fucking knee. I'm like, oh. are you sure you got me? Did you land in the right spot, <laughs> officer? I mean, yeah, I'm still alive. I'm sorry about that. I, you know, <laughs> you fucking retard. Oh, my God. Fucking Christ. They think they're fucking taking the Nazis out or some goddamn thing. Oh, yeah. They, they, what yeah, the fuck they, is that power trip? There's got to be 12 of them. You can't just be fucking two cops. It's got to be 12. Girls, marry. Girls, marry these fucks. Well, girls are cops, and they, they're the same. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah, I know. I, I've never been arrested by a girl cop yet, but. Well, I find the female cops are better than the male cops. At least they'll talk yeah. to you. At least they'll do shit right. Yeah. I've, never had a, I've never had a bad altercation with a female cop. It's only been male cops. <laughs> and that's because they think they're the fucking world. You keep telling, you know, keep making fucking unethical and unmoral fucking statements. I, yeah, yeah. You Walk, I won't even lay down for them. I tell them, no, the fucking ground's soaking fucking wet. I'm not fucking laying down. You yeah. got me up with my hands in my hair? Come and fuck get me, fucker. Because I'm not laying in the mud. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. won't lay in the mud. Oh, they you. do it just to fucking Oh, yeah, laugh they want to lay down on that fucking dirty ground. Fuck yeah. you. I ain't yeah. laying down. I ain't didn't do nothing. Fuck no. you. Well, a couple times I did do something, but they got me fair to rights, but... <laughs> And I paid uh, the piper for it too. I called the tune. I paid the piper. Yeah. But you know, fuck me, man. It's unbelievable. It is, bud. I mean, if you're uh, actually, I mean, it, you should know a bad guy, a real fucking bad guy, from a fucking normal person, or you shouldn't be a fucking cop. Yeah, you should have intuition. You're right. Yeah. And you want to use your intuition? Really don't fucking, no, they got to do. They got to do that stupid shit because not number one, they don't have to do that, but they got to do stuff to get you. But they don't have to be that way. They don't have I to know. be angry. I don't know. They do it. Jump it's up a, in it's your a little bang. Put the knee on your neck and shit like that. Before Rob went an asshole, he was going to be a cop. He went into the police station and he was taking his training course, and yeah. they uh, they they showed movies of uh, or clips that the police filmed about right. deaths and shootings and how to approach people in cars and do all that. And they watched all this shit. They went in the fucking locker room when they were talking and having them beers and everything. And they were all stroking each other's egos. Why can't we do I'm a cop? I shot that fucker right in the face. Blah, 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 blah. Shit like that. Just And Rob, Rob said, it was then I realized this is not me, and this is not going to be good. So he quit. Rob and I go, what heart. you saw there, Rob, was the death cult. They're being initiated into the death cult. And yeah, you fucking They don't fight. care that they killed somebody. Yeah. 
you, when you kill somebody, you should have a bad feeling about it because it's the <laughs> worst thing you can do. They're initiating you. The in yeah, that's cool. It's the top crime of all crimes, right, brother? Yeah. I would if I killed somebody, I'd feel I think I'd feel so goddamn guilty. I wouldn't be able to ever sleep again. Oh yeah. But that's just me. I know. You shoot, man. like you say, you shoot them in the face, and then they go in the fucking goddamn back room bragging about it. You know. Did you see the size of hole in that fucking retard face? Yep, I know. That's what they do. They said I there gave him a third fucking eye. Fuck them. Fuck. Fuck yeah. people like all people like that, not just cops. I know. It's right up straight truth. Hundred. <laughs> Ingratitude. Fuck. Oh, wow. Whatever. Whatever fucking happened to like. Uh, I don't even know. This fucking earth is... And there's well, people out there... There's people out there I fucking live with that have never been in a fight. Never fucking been in a fight in high school, public school, or had any problem with the police. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? What the fuck is well, wrong? Those are the fall-betweens. What? Those are the fall betweens. They they don't ever they don't ever end up in that space at that time where things could happen. That's what I call them fall betweens. I know people. I know same people. Same things like that. They never been. They've never had run-ins with cops. They never been charged. They never been no. Never gotten a fight. I can't. I don't understand how you cannot. It probably happens that like one out of a hundred kids is that way. Really? Eh? I mean, I don't know. I don't know for sure, but I, that's just the way. They just, they just like. They seem to not be at the bad places at the bad time. They're always in, you know, they're always, you know. Yeah. Or they avoid it. Yeah, or they avoid it. Or, yeah, they're absolutely so scared they avoid it. They don't, you know why they never got in a fight? Because they never had the guts to fight the person that wanted to fight. Wow. That's why they never got in a fight maybe sometimes. But how can you let other people rape you and walk all over you and fucking slap you and spit on you and fucking call you names? For and whatever fucking scared. reason, and not do a goddamn thing about it. Some people are scared. Some people just it, it, they do anything to not fight because they can't imagine themselves fighting until you until you push them too far, of course, and then they'll snap on you. But yeah. if they just haven't re- reached their maximum intensity, I re- I re- I re- I fucking reached my maximum fucking red line when I was fucking ten. <laughs> Before in school. Well, I know that, brother. But Fuck. we spent our childhood fucking fighting other kids. <laughs> yeah. fucking, remember the gangs over our fucking way we were talking about in a couple yep. of years? Remember how many fuck I had to fist fight every one of those fucking son of a bitches? And sometimes I lost and sometimes I won, but yep. Yep. I didn't fucking back down. I didn't and fight I as many as you did. So I didn't have to worry God, about That one big fucker, the kid you hit in the head with a rock. Yeah. A mile away. <laughs> Remember that fucker? His brother. Man, I couldn't believe that rock hit him. He I couldn't. Was so either. far away. Fuck! I almost passed out. <laughs> all, all you I, did was check the wind. You went, and you fucking threw that fucking hunk of concrete and went right off the top of his head. Could not fucking. I didn't fare so well when I fucking hit Sean Ann's kite out of the sky with a rock. <laughs> no, she me. kicked your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Darren were laughing. I couldn't even outrun her. Dad's like, ah, oh, oh, <laughs> I'm like, you look like fucking Mo or not Mo. Um, uh, Shep when when Shep was on the coat hunt going around. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you look like. <laughs> she had you by the arm and the leg, and she was swinging you around. Swinging me around. <laughs> help me, help me, help me. <laughs> then she threw you. Oh, damn, we gotta have her on one day. Yeah, no doubt. That was hilarious. She warned me not to do it. Yes, yeah, she did. She said, I had a kid. She's throwing a rock in my kite. <laughs> <laughs> First fucking shot, too. God, that was beautiful. Mm. That's one thing. When I was young, I could throw. Yep. Fuck. I could throw a baseball from fucking the middle outfield right to goddamn home plate. It'd still be moving. Holy they couldn't believe it. I That's all I did every day for fucking. 10 years <laughs> throwing dirt at other kids and they were throwing dirt at us. That was, that was good. Like I was medium good. Yeah. But we're you, dirt you were fucking, fun. when it all came down and it had to happen, fuck you made it happen. I can't. 
<laughs> it's like I watched a fucking God miracle. And then I end up going to work with his fucking brother at the wheels years later. Whose brother? The, the guy that I fucking hit in the head with the long concrete. Yeah, the tall guy. He was out to kick my ass. Yeah. He actually and his crawled brother up. I went to work with at the he, wheels when I went there. Was that him? I forgot his name, but he crawled uh, up in the don't say his name, but no. he crawled up in the fucking garage. In our garage, up in the the in the port up top. In the port up top, yeah. And he sat there waiting for us. And he he <laughs> come jumping down, and I'm like, holy fuck. <laughs> and I'm running through the neighbor's yards. This guy was like 25 years old, fucking crazy guy. And I'm like, you know, 15 or something. <laughs> I'm like, holy fuck, it's a serial killer. <laughs> what are we going to do? He couldn't catch me. I was like a fucking rabbit, man. <laughs> and I, I, when I had backyard. a gun up in the rafter and Daryl ratted me out. <laughs> <laughs> when I had that shotgun up in the rafters at the house down the road. At the okay. weekend, and Daryl ratted me out to my mom because I wouldn't let him shoot it. Yeah. Is well, that what happened? Because all the cops showed that. up at my house. <laughs> I'm like, I don't What's... know anything about this. <laughs> and I didn't. No. That was, I admitted to it all eventually. Okay. I told him I found it in the weeds by grandma's house. <laughs> they said the shells too. I said, yep. <laughs> it's 35 dead crows in the junk air. <laughs> uh, I was bad. <laughs> I think I was 12 years old too when that happened. Yeah. My first offense, a gun charge. <laughs> 12 years old. I remember her mom saying, you <laughs> fuck <laughs> Called the cops on me. I can't fire. I couldn't fucking leave it. She called the cops on you? <laughs> yep. Oh, Daryl's like, come on, I'm doing this guy's job. <laughs> he comes out, makes me get it. Calls the fucking cops. Old man gold, I stole it off of him. Oh, is that right? Yeah, I kicked it. Well, I broke in his office and stole it out of his office. <laughs> and the shells and everything. He had it in the That's office. That's how we got our candy money. Yep. Gold, man, the batteries man. from the back sell them in the front. Yep. <laughs> and fucking things are heavy when you're 15 or 12 oh, or yeah. 11. Then they started putting a big X on them with the, the magic markers that you couldn't do. <laughs> yeah, found a bunch of those. Yeah, we were rotten kids. Yeah. Well, yeah, we mostly well. had money dirt. Yep. That was really <laughs> Before, from money dirt to batteries and gold junk here. To sell them to the fucking people we took them from. <laughs> Candy every weekend and nobody knew how we got it. <laughs> 20 bucks a battery. Yeah. Right. Imagine if they were really paying us no to doubt. do some work. <laughs> yeah, I remember they paid by the pound. How big the battery it was, how much they paid you. Yep. They put it on that big scale and yep. yeah. And all I heard was that ching. I'm like, <laughs> I'm buying fucking pop. I'm buying fucking everything. I'm buying everything. <laughs> God damn, that was great. Yeah, that was. The good old times. Had yeah. a million trees to climb around the house, yeah. all in front of the mansion there, and all around grandma's house. Fucking apple trees, orange trees, cherry trees, like every kind of tree you could think of was around there pretty much. Yeah. Used to love going through there. Did you ever go in that big big house beside Grandma's? Yeah, or the, no, uh, yeah. No, I, I was we used to go yeah. in the doorway. They used to give us candy. Yeah, I remember. That. I never went in. I was too fucking scared to go in there. Yeah, me. Uh, we'd only just go in the big door. Like you, th those, they were so old and weird. Yeah. They were Dutch or something. Yeah. And then uh, they would give us candy. I remember that. They give us chocolates. She come out. She come out, and she looked like a witch. Mm -hmm. and she, she goes. Was she, goes she goes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm like, holy fuck, I'm gonna die. And she goes. I, I used to. Have she's handing out like the candies. One. I'm like, holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh man oh, that, we used to play on their porch all the time yeah. they didn't even give a shit we used to play on their stairs their porch i never we saw her standing out the window uncle hank had that went in the ground there by where he parked his glider you could yell in the thing the tank the 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 exhaust for the fuel tank under the ground there yeah. it was always yelling into that thing that was always fun yeah Running in and out of the laundry. I remember getting my ass kicked so many times in there. Being really? in the laundry mat. Grandpa's working. He'd give me a kick me right in my fucking ass. Get out there. Get, in there, get a drink of water and bug everybody. And... <laughs> See you come running up with a wooden leg on your ass. Don't be bugging everybody. Yeah. 
I remember you used to run around in that place like crazy. I was always too afraid. I, <laughs> I was always, I had to go to the bathroom. And clothes and shit, and I'd be standing there talking, how you doing that steam and that clothes? You got this, got this. <laughs> Cramp and see me, and I'd be done. I remember I was walking alongside where the little square windows were, and they'd be open. Mm-hmm. And I see Grandpa in there working. I go, Grandpa, Grandma, you said that. And I just scream at him. All these ladies were looking at me. Yeah, that was a hell of a place. I used to love hanging around that. Place. Yeah. In the wintertime, you inside the little garages, see Warren play in the garage. And they had all them bays of garages. And- I had dreams about that place. That uh, when it was first, when they before the laundry was there. Mm-hmm. They used to bury fetuses in the back, in the back where the money dirt was. No way. Yeah, I had a dream about it, and I was showing Christ, and I was down there, and they somebody hired me to start digging up these babies in the dream, and I'd find these little wrapped up leather burritos, but it was a fetus. Wow. And so that's what they were doing. Wow, I wonder who was doing back that. in World War Two and before World War Two. They were, I, I think it was the people that owned that house. Maybe he was that's a doctor. one of the secrets that were in that place. Oh, really? Beside grandma's house. All these babies wow. were being born by these women. And they didn't they have a nun place around there somewhere? Yeah, it was way down where your mom, or past where your mom lives. It's, it was 140, 150, 160. All right. Yeah, well, this was right. Nun place used to be. This was right where the money dirt was in that parking yeah. lot. Yeah. Well, I don't and, know what that, that would be. I was, yeah. I was like I said, we were we were so young then that was but it was crazy. all underground it wasn't it was, it was all underground right yeah so like your daughter you got to keep a secret she gets pregnant they get oh yeah and it. Yeah, yeah so they just bury it in the backyard so, and there was like 20 of them man wow and i'm That's digging crazy. them up and i felt kind of fucking sick doing it but i'm digging these things up and i told jesus about it and he goes yeah you're uncovering the truth and he goes you're digging up what they did and it's all secret. But nobody got nobody nobody paid Piper for it. Oh, I don't know. I have no maybe, idea. Maybe maybe that's just what they did back then. Who yeah, knows? aborted or it came out stillbirth. I don't know. As long as it ain't wasn't none of our fucking family. That that's it's the only yeah. thing that matters. But that's where they buried them. So. <clears throat> and even if you did dig it up, it was just a piece of cloth floating around. Then. Right, but the, you wouldn't see it. it would By the time we got playing back there well yeah yeah exactly and we were playing on the surface we're not we weren't digging right so, well but that's crazy that that's that that's back there that's kind of now it creeps me out a little bit but yeah. not too much because there was a building there was an old house the money dirt was in the backpack then there was another building it was it was like gold brick i think something like that and that must have been before our time. You must have been seeing that in your dream. Or, yeah, I remember a gold bat. I remember a, a little house back there, maybe or something, but in the cornfield, right where the cornfield started off to the left hand side. But I, I, I did really in my own mind. I don't even know if that's real or if I just was yeah. I'm just thinking that that that's it. Yeah, I, I, it's like I'm in the illusion and I'm dreaming it and I'm walking around. And, I'm, and you know, you know the building opposite the. Uh, old mansion then they had the the dry cleaners right across from the dry cleaners was another building yeah they had old building yeah was it okay well they had it used to be like a at one point they had a warehouse there it was full of old fucking cars like well that could be model t's and shit that might have been uncle hanks probably yeah, because the guy that owned that was our great uncle, right? He was oh, he was I don't know, the roundabout way to us. That makes sense. That because I had that Nazi dream. Hank Broman, he was our he was Broman. our great uncle. Yeah, he okay, was well, I had a, to him somehow. Yeah, but I had the Nazi dream where they showed me what didn't happen, or it did happen, but we would have been different if it did happen. Well, that what happened was in our mom's time, 45, 44. Yeah, in the war. My it was mom in the was war. born in 45. There was a and, Nazi. Yeah. Somehow he was related to us. And well, he was yeah, a, because we're yeah. European descent. Yeah, I know. Grandma's from England, right? Yeah. Grandpa's from Switzerland. Mm-hmm. 
there's there's got to be a fucking German in there somewhere. Or a fucking- well, anyway, he was this one guy. He was related to us somehow, and he wanted to get this baby to Canada. And he was an SS guy, and he went in a submarine. And this is in the dream I had. Wow. And, and the depth charge hit the fucking sub, blew up, and the baby's buried at the bottom of the fucking ocean down there with him wow. on their way to here, to Canada. And they were going to somewhere over here. They had a secret place where they went on the land or whatever. And uh, well, Lake Erie's pretty deep. No, no, this is what East Coast in the oh, ocean. Okay. And they, the Nazis would come on the land and trade with the Nazis here that lived here. Oh, okay. And uh, one of the things he was bringing was the baby to save the baby because right. one of our fucking relatives wanted the baby saved. So he was right. bringing it, smuggling it over to Canada, and the, the, they never made it. Wow. And the person, if that person would have been, did make it. Right. It, it's a person we know in the spirit world, wow. but we never got to know here on earth. Because he died. Know, probably know he died on the way here. World. Yeah, it was something like that. Could have been me. Fuck, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> on a soul level. But, I don't know. It has, to do, with, it has to do with that fucking old mansion, though. Beside wow. says, says, and the Bromans. So, well, face it, that mansion was sitting there. Probably was built in the 1800s. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying, bud? That yeah. mansion was probably there around 1890. And they had money, man. They had money. I remember it had a it had a date right on the stairs in the cornerstone. Yeah. I just can't remember what it was. Yeah, well, they had a lot of money. So, you're a fucking one of the first settlers coming over into fucking Chatham, and you got all that money. You're protected, and they can fucking have all the boy babies they want and abortions they want, and throw them back in the fucking. Well, nobody's going to know, back right? Nobody's no one's gonna, gonna know. No one's going to say nothing. Yeah. And I mean, if you if you were to get a pregnant back then and you wanted to abort it, or maybe you just there was a lot of miscarriages back then. There was yeah. natural miscarriage, like yeah. it wasn't had nothing to do with abortion. It just yeah. people weren't healthy enough, and they weren't. They did. There was just more of that back then not as there is now. Yeah. I mean, maybe a soul needed to be born, but it only needed to be born for 10 seconds and it just needed to make one appearance on earth. And then it was time was done and it was, it was its last infiltration into this reality. Yeah. But it, it, and it only required a birth. And and yeah. And I dream, I dream, I dream in all this shit or Christ showing me about the Nazi sub and that's connected well, to the time thing. You get a chance, ask them, take you back there again and have a look around and see what you can see. If yeah. you can, if you can do it or not, it's up to you. Like, I mean, it, it's up to you, whatever goes on. But if you can, that would be cool. We find out about it. Yeah. I'll dream more. Don't worry. For sure. Mm-hmm. Interesting, interesting stuff. No doubt. Amazing. And I, I dream about that. I dream about shit where I go camping. It's like one time we went to a rattlesnake point or something up there. On the, you, when you're on the 401 and you get to uh, the escarpment, not the Niagara yeah. escarpment, yeah. and we stopped there one night, and we were camping at a Kia, a Kia, a Car- Kia campground. No, a campground oh. called Kia. Oh, okay. K-I-A or something. And we, we just stopped because we were tired. And we were camping, and I'm sleeping on the earth in my tent. And all night I dreamt about this fucking guy. He'd come out of the woods along the cliff back there and there's a little suburb over there he comes sneaking up and he would watch the fucking girls having sex and he'd be peeking in the fucking tents and shit oh no doubt and that's what he did and i dreamt about it all fucking night that's all i did he never came to my tent but (laughs) all i did was i'm in my tent and i leave my body and i'm following this guy around he's peeking in all the tents stealing shit in the campground and alcohol and he's that's what he did man he just fucking stole everybody's shit wow. <laughs> and i followed him around all night <laughs> i was never uh, taking any goddamn sleep mm-hmm. but i was like asshole traveling following him above him looking at him it's amazing how like, you, uh, you dream when you're in a campground eh yeah. when you're on, on the earth when you're well, laying yeah. on the earth and all that energy is going right up in your belly and yep, right, right up in your head it's yeah. just amazing. And there's another one we were at whitefish falls me jay and daryl I think, no, me, Jay, and Kane. 
we went camping at the Whitefish Falls. And that's uh, just off the top of the, the island as, when you're going to Espanola. Okay. Off the Manitoulin Island. You're going to Island yeah. yeah. And so we went there and we went back in the bush closer to the mountains, the White Mountains along the North Channel. But we never did see the water because we're on the other side of the mountains. Anyway, right. it you was go to the mountain to see it. Right? Yeah, yeah. And I wasn't climbing that far. That was a long walk. That's a hard walk. So we got, I got a little pissed up on the wine, puked my guts out. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it was brutal. I think it was just a car and the fucking heat and the everything. Anyway, you I'm asleep. The fucking boiling heat. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I fall asleep on the ground. And I'm thinking Sasquatch, you know, I'm all fucking Sasquatch guy, but nothing happened like that, but, or bear, black bears, you know, I'm, I'm feeling, I always feel for black bears around. So I know what's going on. There weren't any, so, okay, I can go to sleep. So, and I wake up, if a bear comes around in the middle of the night, I'll wake right up and fucking ass will travel and look at it instantly. It's a threat. I'm going to, I'm going to know. So anyway, I'm sleeping. And I'm over top. I'm uh, there's a big rock over there, in reality where I'm sleeping from, and the big rock. I'm over top of the big rock. There's like five, six feet of fucking snow, and there's a crashed snowmobile, <laughs> and it's smashed. And there's a dead guy laying there. Wow. And I'm like, I I remember that I woke up and then uh, I got up. I walked out. There's no snow. I walked over to the rock, and then Kane or Jay came over, and I'm like, "What the fuck are you doing, Rick?" And I'm just staring at the ground. I'm like, "The guy died there, man, <laughs> right there." And so I told him what I just saw, and so we went back to the gas station and confirmed that, yeah, that's where they found him. Wow, he, went that's out, crazy, he was out snowmobiling a couple years before that, and wow, he hit a fucking rock and he died right where you said that's crazy so there think i'm fucking awesome, lying <laughs> that happens every man. time i'd bet on you anytime <laughs> yeah i'm fucking telling you i don't even i don't even think about it it just happens i was laying in the bed half pissed up just got done puking and i fell asleep and that's what i seen wow so current events on the earth you know awesome brother that's just awesome and he was in a snow you got there so I don't know how he died, though. I don't understand. I, don't I think he broke his neck, something, and uh, he couldn't. He broke something that was vital, and he couldn't get out because mm. his, his, his lawnmower or his snowmobile couldn't work anymore. And it was like miles back to civilization. Wow! And so he just froze to death. Oh, that it's was... uh, five to five. You want a caller, buddy? Yeah. I got a couple of things I got to do, pal. I got nothing. It was a nice talk. I hope you all enjoy it. Richard, he always has the best, best anecdotes and from childhood and stuff that, I mean, I just can't believe remembering all that stuff. <laughs> no, man, you guys need to help me remind me. I can't fucking remember half of them. Oh my God. I, it makes me feel so good when I can talk about stuff like that. I know. Oh, but anyway, brother, I'm going to go and I'm going to put a couple loads of laundry in and get some stuff done for the wife. Um, all right <laughs> um you have yourself a good day pal and we'll see you all later be blessed everybody talk to you later buddy okay guys see you damn see your brother yeah man that's I hope you like this one it's a little bit mellower i'm tired today <laughs> all right talk to you later guys